Okay, let's talk about clean and unclean foods. Why, as a believer, do I still, a believer in Yeshua, why do I still choose to keep the clean and unclean foods? First of all, they were, I grew up with clean, eating only clean animals because my parents had come upon the truth, but that, it, and it's laid out in Leviticus 11, that's one witness, Deuteronomy 14, that's second witness, just like the Old and New Testament are two witnesses in a lot of understandings. But we have, so we have those, and it's, says if you love me you will keep my commandments well that's one of his commandments it, it's about keeping this temple clean it's about keeping this temple clean we're, we're a temple of the Holy Spirit and I want to keep this temple clean in what I eat in what I think in what I hear what I listen to what I watch you know at, you can watch my video on temple of the Holy Spirit to expound on that but it's basically along those lines of you can look in Leviticus 21 verse 20 and it talks about the priest and no one could be a priest who was with blemish the animals couldn't be sacrificed they couldn't even come in to the temple if they were with, unless they were without blemish to be sacrificed. So, as being a temple of the Holy Spirit, that same thing. Why would I let something that's unclean, at food wise, why would I let that bring that into my into the gates of my temple? It wasn't allowed in the temple back then. Why would I? Why would I allow it now? What? Why should I? Why would I defile myself? Spiritually speaking, I mean it's a physical symbol of a spiritual principle about the holy and the profane. It's like the all a lot of scripture is about the separating the holy and the profane, and that's part of what it's about is the holy and the profane, separating the holy and the profane. And so that's why I want to keep it. If you look at Noah, Noah was told to keep to, and that goes back as about as far as you can practically. And it talks about in the days of Noah. Well, in the days of Noah, it shall be as in the days of Noah. But in, with Noah, God, Yash, Yahweh, commands Noah to bring seven of the clean animals and two of all the unclean animals. So even in, back then, or even, even with Cain and Abel, when Cain's sacrifice was rejected and no, and Abel's was accepted those would have been clean animals so that the animal sacrifice goes back all the way to the beginning but the idea is the clean and unclean goes back to Noah back into those days so even before the Torah was given to Israel so it's not just a Jewish thing it's something that goes back to the very, very beginning. From the from the very beginning, where, where with, with Noah giving sacrifices and all those sorts of things, but it go, he had unclean the clean animals. Only clean animals were food. That's part of the thing. People say, "Oh well, we can eat anything we want to." Okay, eat whatever you want. And like Paul says, all things are lawful, but not all things are profitable. All things are, are allowed, but
but not all things edify. The whole point of not not eating unclean food, uh, unclean animals as food, is that it's not edifying to, to Yahweh. And so that's why I choose to, and in my next video I'll go into what where people argue as to why we shouldn't, we can eat Peter's vision, and then and the other one with washing of hands. But I'll go into that in the next video.